Yes, so let's begin our tour at Grand Army Plaza. Look, here's some apples. Uh, we have red and green apples. Would you like to have a red or green apple? It's so great to be outdoors. Many people are getting exercise um, by walking and riding bikes. And uh, let's be careful as we cross the path. Look to your left and look to your right before we cross. We're at the Long Meadows. It's a large open area with lots of space to run and play. Do you see someone flying a kite? Listen and step quietly. Many animals make their habitats inside of parks. Look, look what we found. What animal is hiding in the tall grass? If you've, if you've guessed a rabbit, you are correct. But I'm not sure if this is a rabbit. It looks like a hare because a hare has longer ears and longer hind legs. Humans and animals build their homes out of wood. Here is an animal that finds its home in a tree. What is this animal called? This animal is called a raccoon. Let's visit the ravine. A ravine is a long, deep valley created by a stream. Ha, ah, we made it to the boathouse. Would you like to take a boat ride on the lake? There are many types of animals that make their, that make this lake their home. Two animals are reptiles. Can you guess which animal is an amphibian? Why don't we um, feed the, swans and the geese. There are so many different types of ant birds that make their homes here. They like, pe they like to eat uh, pieces of bread and crackers. Some birds make their homes in trees. Look up. Can you hear the birds sing? Bird watching is a lot of fun. Listen to the different bird calls. Can you whistle like a bird? Wow, we're close to the entrance of the zoo. Right now it's not open. However, we could come back at another time to see it. Have you been to the zoo before? Um, what animals do you remember seeing here? Wow, here is the Leopard's Homestead Historic House Museum. It is a Dutch family farmhouse that was built more than 200 years ago. Look, here is, here is the carousel. Would you like to take a ride? Abuela.
Abuela takes me on the bus. We go all around the city. Abuela is my grandma. She is my mother's mother. Abuela means grandma in Spanish. Abuela speaks mostly Spanish because that's what people spoke where she grew up before she came to this country. Abuela and I are always going places. Today we are going to the park. El parque es lindo, says Abuela. I know what she means. I think the park is beautiful too. Tantos pájaros, Abuela says, as a flock of birds surround us. So many birds, they're picking up the bread we bought. What if they picked me up and carried me high above the park? What if I could fly? Abuela would wonder where I was, swooping like a bird I'd call to her. Then she'd see me flying. Rosalba, the bird, Rosalba el pájaro, she'd say. Ven, abuela, come, abuela, I'd say. Si sí, quiero volar. Abuela would reply as she leaps into the sky with her skirt flapping in the wind. We would fly all over the city. Mira, Abuela would say, pointing, and I'd look as we soared over parks and streets, dogs and people. We'd wave to the people waiting for the bus. Buenos dias, we'd say. Buenos dias. Good morning, they'd call up to us. We'd fly over factories and trains. And glide close to the sea, Cerca del mar, we'd say, we'd almost touch the top of waves. Abuela's skirt would be a sail. She could race with the sailboats. I'll bet she'd win. We'd fly to where the ships are docked and watch people unload fruits from the land where Abuela grew up. Mangos, bananas, papaya, those are all Spanish words. So are rodeo, patio, and burro. Maybe we'd see a cousin of Abuela's hooking boxes of fruit to a crane. We saw her cousin Daniel once unloading and loading the ships. Out past the boat in the harbor, we see the Statue of Liberty. Me gusta, Abuela would say. Abuela really likes her. I do too. We would circle around Liberty's head and wave to the people visiting her. That would remind Abuela of when she first came to this country. Vamos al aeropuerto, she'd say. She'd take me to the airport where the plane that first brought her landed. Cuidado, Abuela would tell me. We'd have to be careful as we went for a short ride. Then we could fly to Tio Pablo's and Tia's de la store. Pablo is my uncle, my tío, and Elisa is my aunt, my tía. They'd be surprised when we flew in, but they offer us a cold, cool limonada. Flying is hot work. Pero quiero volar más, Abuela would say. She wants to fly more. I want to fly more too. We could fly to Las Nubes, the clouds. Or look, one looks like a cat, un gato. One looks like a bear, un oso. One looks like a chair, una silla. Descansemos un momento, Abuela would say. She wants to rest a moment. We would rest in our chair. And Abuela would hold me in her arms with the whole sky our house, Nuestra Casa. We'd be as high as airplanes, balloons, and birds, and higher than the tall buildings downtown, but we'd fly. We could find the buildings where my father works. Hola, papa, I'd say as I waved, and abuela would do a flip for fun, and we'd pass by the windows. Mira, I hear abuela say, look, She's telling me, I do look, and we are back in the park. We are walking by the lake. Abuela probably wants to go for a boat ride. Vamos a otra aventura, she says. She wants us to go for another adventure. That's just one of the things I love about Abuela. She likes adventures. Abuela takes my hand. Vamos, she says. Let's go. The end. Thank you, Stephanie. Wow, we got to go on a boat ride anyway.